Uh, the point I'm making is about uh, the idea of freedom of expression, and I and I believe that uh, that there's this agenda in mainstream media, and I think it's fairly easy to back this up, to keep people stupid, docile, and apathetic, and therefore the elite who own these corporations and the families that own the corporations, even fewer people, their agenda is to keep us stupid and apathetic. That's why I love public access. And again, thanks for having me on. No, oh, thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. For, for, um, as far as the Letterman deal went, again, um, the material I had prepared was approved and reapproved by a segment producer. I performed the show on October 9th, Friday. The show was filmed and taped. And when I got back to the hotel, I was given a call by the producer saying we, had to, we have to excise your entire segment from the show. When I asked him why, he said, CBS, I love this, standards and practices. Who don't you love these networks have standards? <laughs> yeah, well, what is it, when you're, when you're airing beer commercials 24 hours a day with half-naked women with the beer in their crotches? <laughs> what standards do you have exactly? Mm -mm. Anyway, they deem the material unsuitable for the audience. In other words, here's what they're saying. You are a contemptible herd. You will not be able to comprehend these are jokes or ideas simply. That's all they are. And you, the contemptible herd, must be kept from one man stating his ideas. Because if one man does it, well, that might inspire other people to go, you know what? I have some interesting ideas, too, which I've never had uh, confirmed. But I'm not, I'm not afraid to state them anymore. They want you to be a docile, apathetic herd of consumers, of corporate products. That's what happened on Letterman. No sour grapes on my part. Again, I think it's rather a badge of honor. On the very same stage, Elvis was censored from the waist down. I was censored entirely. See, what they do is they kowtow to a minority that's very vocal. Reasonable people don't write letters. Reasonable people have lives. <laughs> Reasonable people know it's just a joke. Reasonable people uh, know it's just TV. They know they can change the channel or they'll wait and something else will come on. Sure. Um, see, reasonable people don't get it active. It's these minorities, these fundamentalists who are totally organized, and they are a minority, and who are the ones trying to uh, set this agenda for America. And uh, But come to find out, Dave, you know, you know, I guess 14 million was his price. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everyone has a price, they say.